Good morning guys and welcome to Porto. Morning and the hostel we're staying in is sick. It's so good. It's the best. I think it's personally the best hostel I've ever stayed in. Definitely. So we are staying at the passenger hostel for anyone who is wondering. We don't really know what we're doing today yet. We're just having a bit of a wander around taking some photos at the moment. But There's a walking tour at 3.30 that we're uh, going to go do. It'll be a good idea. To, good way to see a bit more of um, Porto as we've both never been here before. We woke up and it's still really, really foggy. Check out these wristbands. This is what opens our doors and lockers at the hostel. We'll show you that Yeah, later. everything is, uh, is done by these wristbands. wristbands. Pretty cool. Very cool. So I lift my hands to the God that guides me, to the one that finds me. Even in my darkest days, he walks beside me singing songs of freedom, always singing songs of life. And they're leading me out of the darkness and they're bringing me into the light. There's a reason hey. online that people apparently give sardines as gifts. Serious? Yeah. And then, we were at the airport in Lisbon yesterday, I saw tins of sardines. And now, um, what, they give it as gifts? Yeah. A little fishy in here, what's this? Long live the people on the streets Hustling all day to go home and feed the families Just trying to make ends meet It's called the Carmo, the Carmo Church Carmo Church On Carmo Street The tiles are just Incredible. You see a lot of, in, even in the souvenir shops and stuff, everything is tiles or cork or something like that. But these are just a, a blue, blue and white tiles everywhere. You've got different patterns coming over and different images wow. painted through them. They're on all the buildings, really, so that's cool. What's the different colours? They're still facing defeat. Long live the people that don't feel equal. Working hard to pay the wages of this playing in casinos. Long live the ones on the run. So we're just gonna walk back to the hostel now because it's about. It's just gone three o'clock. We made some lunch this morning from the breakfast because it was really, really good. And we're gonna take it out today and then we got outside and we'd forgotten it. So we're gonna go back to the hostel and get our lunch and then we'll wait for the tour, which I think starts at 3.30. We just made up extra um, sandwiches and stuff because they had meat, cheese and salads and whatnot. bed dorm and we all get our own little curtain for the beds <laughs> and it doesn't even feel like you're in a hostel because the roof is so big and the room is so big that everyone has their own little space and no one's really in here unless um, it's time you know to sleep so I've been in many hostels now and nothing's been like this we rate it it's the passenger the passenger hostel it's called it's called the passenger hostel because it's right near the train station it's at the train session pretty much. cheapest destination to fly to. Yeah. There's quite a few of us here. Coming and doing a walk is you're in Portugal. Do the Porto Walkers. Porto Walkers, yeah, that was really good. 
a guy whose name is what was his name? Pedro. Pedro. Pedro yeah. It's all tip based, so um, you pay what you think as well. It's very interesting to hear that in 2012, I think it was, is when the tourists kind of started coming back to Portugal because Ryanair started flying here cheaply. So. <laughs> Found a spot, didn't we? Yeah, we're right down on the river. On the river? <laughs> on the river? On the river. On the riverfront. We end up getting calamari. Fried calamari for Zalu's. And then we got crumbed cod to share and um, barbecue burger. And we also got beer. <laughs> Why not? So we just kind of, we're going to do this uh, tonight and then tomorrow hopefully we'll have a bit more of an idea of... Yeah. I'm enjoying it so far, I really like Porto. Yeah, it's a really beautiful city, really beautiful city. And like it was really good doing the work of walking to it today. Because we know what we're going to do tomorrow. We're going to go to a few places that we saw today and then we're going to go taste some port wine. Should be interesting. <laughs> Hopefully we've made the right choice. Could not have dessert, right? <laughs> Come in. You know, today has been a bit of a uh, slow one, trying to get our bearings in auto. The walking tour was great. It was nice to have a bit of dinner and then come back to the hostel and just hang out. So we've got a lot planned tomorrow because um, today gave us a few ideas. So. Day two in Porto. Mm -hmm. See you tomorrow. Bye.